so during the pandemic i have been using blue apron super convenient i love it um at this time you know a lot of people aren't really comfortable with going to the grocery store to getting their groceries so blue apron just gives that convenience and the recipes are like awesome when i used to live in new york i was also doing blue apron with my old roommate and then when i moved back to massachusetts i stopped for a while and then when the pandemic started getting way more serious i started back up again and i am probably never gonna go back i love blue apron today we are going to make um all right so they sent these recipe um little paper things and today I'm gonna be making seared chicken and creamy Italian dressing with the mashed potatoes and glazed veggies so what you need for this recipe is two um, boneless skinless chicken breasts two cloves of garlic two tablespoons of mayonnaise one tablespoon of sherry vinegar three fourth pound of golden potatoes, four ounces of grape tomatoes, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, one fourth cup of grated Parmesan cheese, one bunch of kale or one bunch of spinach, one or two poblamo peppers. Po, poblamo. Po, poblamo. Po, poblamo. Po, poblano, poblano, chop. I don't know how you say that pepper. Uh, two tablespoons of mascarpone cheese, and I think that's how you say it, but if I'm wrong, please correct me below in the comments, and one tablespoon of Italian seasoning. So first things first, of course you wanna wash all of your produce um, and dry them, and also make sure your hands are clean as well and set everything up on your cutting board. I'll be right back. All right, so after you have washed and dried all of your produce, I haven't. Okay, so after you've washed and dried all of your produce, what we're gonna do is fill a medium pot three fourths of the way with salted water and put it on high to boil. Then we're going to medium dice the potatoes. Um, we're going to roughly chop one of the garlic cloves and then mince with a, a small side of a grater the other garlic clove. We're going to have the grape potatoes um, and then we're going to cut the pepper lengthwise in half and then chop it up horizontally. So with the tomatoes, we're going to end up mixing them with the garlic. So I'm just going to put it with the chopped garlic. So I'm just going to put it in a little bowl. So after you have halved the tomatoes and chopped up one of the cloves, you're going to combine them in a little bowl and add salt and pepper to season. Stir it up and just let it marinate. Okay. And now that that is done, we are going to add the potatoes to the salted water that is boiling and let it boil for 16 to 18 minutes or until it's tender. 
tender enough to mash because we are gonna turn these into mashed potatoes. Be super careful when you're putting these in the pot. Drown. I almost burned myself, champ. Mm. All right. Next up, chicken. We're gonna cook the chicken. So what you're gonna wanna do is clean your chicken first. Um, how I clean my chicken, I use lime and I just use it to wash the chicken. Then I rinse it with cold water and then you're gonna pat the chicken dry and season it. So what we're gonna use to season it is Italian seasoning, seasoning salt and pepper. So with Blue Apron, the special seasonings come in the in the box, the delivery box. So the ingredients say, the instructions say to use half of the Italian seasoning for both. So what I'm gonna do is we have a little bit left over. I don't like to make my food too salty. So gotta wash the salt intake. And then after you're done doing this, you're gonna wanna clean off your cutting board. So I washed and dried my cutting board and I flipped it to the other side to um, add the meat. And then I'm going to wash and dry it again after uh, we take the meat to the stove so we can use it to cut up the meat once it's done cooking. So that's the first side. And then you can just pick up the little leftovers on the cutting board, add it on. You wanna make sure you, you get the entire chicken. We don't like bland chicken on this side. Make sure you have half left over. What we're going to do is heat up two teaspoons of olive oil in a medium nonstick pan. If you have nonstick, if you don't, that's fine. Um, and we are going to cook each breast. The ingredients say six or seven minutes on each side. I don't play that with my chicken. I cook it until I can cut it in the middle and see there's no pink. It's cooked through. Definitely we don't want it to be chewy, we don't want it to be dry, but we definitely want to make sure that it's cooked. So we're gonna leave that on medium high heat, wait for it to heat up, and we're gonna throw the breasts on it, kick it up. So while that is cooking, we are going to make the dressing. So what we need for the dressing, what we need for the dressing is the Dijon mustard, the mayonnaise. We're gonna use the rest of the Italian seasoning, half and half of the grated Parmesan. I think that's it. I hope that's it. Let's go and check the recipe again. Just to double check. Oh, two, te two teaspoons of olive oil and one teaspoon of water. That's what I was forgetting. This is the mayo. Oh, yes, and then the garlic paste. I did forget about that. The, the garlic fat, the garlic paste that we mixed up, that's what we're putting in there. Up. 
another guy, so this is gonna be the dressing for the chicken. So good. Smells so good. All right, so the chicken has cooked while we're letting it rest. We are going to make the peppers and the tomatoes, um, and we're going to finish the mashed potatoes. So for the peppers and tomatoes, what we're going to do is we're going to heat up the medium pan, the same one that we cooked the chicken in. We're going to leave whatever leftover fond from the chicken is in the pan. We're going to leave it there. We're going to add the peppers two teaspoons of olive oil, and we're gonna cook that for two or three minutes and season it with salt and pepper. After that, we're going to add the mixture of the tomatoes and the chopped garlic that we made previously, and then we're gonna cook that for another three to four minutes, and then after that, we're gonna add the sherry vinegar, and we're gonna let that sit in the pan. For the potatoes, we're gonna go ahead and drain the potatoes, mash them, we're gonna add the mascarpone, and then we're gonna season it with salt and pepper, and then the mashed potatoes will be done. Everything is wrapped up, we're gonna go ahead and plate our dish. So first, we've gone ahead and sliced the chicken. So, we're just gonna go ahead and add the vegetables. Garnish the vegetables with the remaining Parmesan cheese. And then we are going to add the dressing to the chicken and then we are all done. I'll definitely be sure to add a picture of the finished result. And there we have it. Thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in. Let me know down in the comments if there's any other type of content that you'd love to see me take. I'll definitely be doing more videos like this using the Blue Apron recipes that I get delivered to my house. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you guys get out of here. Thanks again from Lynn with love.